Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about evaluating limits. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this limit right here, the limit as x approaches 1 of a negative 3 over x minus 1, and we need to evaluate this limit. Now, with something like this, notice we're not approaching 1 from the left or the right, from both left and the right. So let's use a table here to see what happens. Now, I've calculated these values ahead of time for you. If we plug 0 in for x, and we're going to approach 1 from the left here, and put some values as we get closer to 1 from the left, 0 in for x, we get a positive 3. If we put a 0 0.5 in for x, we get a 6. And if we put a 0 0.9 in for x, we get a 30. So from the left-hand side, it looks like we're approaching a positive infinity right here. And it's getting larger and larger as we get closer and closer to 1 from the left. But what about from the right? Put 2 in for x, we get a negative 3. We put a 1.5 in for x, we get a negative 6. And a 1.1 in for x, we get a negative 30. And so if we approach 1 from the right here, as we get closer and closer to 1, we're going towards a negative infinity. So what does that tell us? It tells us that if we approach from the left, it's a different limit than approaching from the right. And so when that happens at a specific value, we would say that this limit does not exist because it has to, at this point, equal or be the same from the left and the right. So our final answer here is this limit does not exist. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.